The storm is creating spatial disturbances throughout the system. If we analyze their patterns, we might be able to position the ship at a point where communication is possible. Initial scans are picking up clouds of ionized subspace radiation and chronometric particles. Hmm. This is curious. Sensors are registering a stationary object. It's not far from our position. Unlikely. I suspect it is one of the Starfleet navigation buoys placed throughout the system. However, the ionization of subspace is warping and distorting the sensors. As a result, an accurate identification is not possible at this range. As I suspected, a navigational buoy. It appears to be inactive, however. The navigational buoys here are configured to broadcast a message on all frequencies. It is intended to inform those who arrive here that Pavo is a protected reserve. Sensors indicate heavy hull ionization on this buoy. I believe it has been disabled by the effects of the ion storm. Navigational buoy 226 is nearby and should provide us with a means to reinforce hailing frequencies between the ship and the Pavo research station. However, I recommend caution in navigating further into the system. The ion storm is quite volatile. something of interest. Sensors show the formation of a spatial anomaly nearby. Uncertain. It appears to be providing stability to the ion storm, similar to the eye of a hurricane. I'm also detecting bursts of calm signals from the anomaly. The signals are currently garbled beyond recognition, but they could be from the research station. I recommend conducting a deeper analysis, both of the anomaly and the signals.
deployed during the Federation Klingon conflict in the 18th century. The Starfleet vessel was a crossfire class, also active during that time period. Scanning. Sensors show a spike in the chronometric particles immediately preceding the arrival of these vessels. Fascinating. The Crossfield class vessel is not transmitting a Starfleet recognition signal. Sensor analysis confirmed. It is the ISS Discovery from the Terran Empire of the so-called Mirror Universe. Your timely assistance is most appreciated. Speaking for myself and my loyal crew, thank you. I am Captain Sylvia Tilly, and I officially declare our intent to seek asylum. Clearly this is going to take a little getting used to. I'm not entirely sure how, but judging by the sense I'm sure the science behind all of this is fascinating, but we have some more immediate concerns to address, namely the Klingon boarding parties running wild on my ship. Excellent. I'll have Patel, my chief of security, meet your team at the transport board in security. I look forward to meeting you in person. Tilly out. life signs in your vicinity, reading multiple high-energy discharges as well. The data is consistent with 23rd century phaser and disruptor weapons at the highest setting. Proceed with caution. In the heat of battle, you could be seen as an enemy by anyone you encounter there. Welcome to the ISS Discovery. Yeah, no. I'm afraid Patel has been relieved of command. Just like you're going to be relieved of those fancy 25th century weapons. Our captain is weak, and you? You're a fool. The Terran Empire tolerates neither. Some would call this a mutiny. But any captain willing to conspire with Federation trash is no captain of ours. Now hand over those weapons, or we'll pick them off your corpses. The choice is yours. Oh, we're transmitting it. Hello, welcome aboard the Discovery. As you can see, things have become a bit more complicated. It seems that some of my crew have decided that now is the perfect time to express their concerns with my command decisions. Hmm. Yes. As if the Klingon boarding parties weren't enough to deal with. Oh, hey, let's have a mutiny too. Wonderful. Never mind that. Did Chief Patel make it to you? She was supposed to escort you through the security fields to the bridge. I see. We'll do what we can from the bridge, but I'm afraid we're a bit locked down here at the moment. According to our internal sensors, Chief Patel is in that deck security station. It's not far from your current position. She's probably trying to lock down this ridiculous mutiny there. Find Patel. She should be able to override whatever the mutineers are doing to raise those fields. Take them down and make your way to the turbo lift. Sounds like our guests got a warm welcome.
Now that I have your attention, I have some questions. Tilly has plans, yes? She always has plans. And you're going to tell me what they are. Oh, you'll resist, of course. You're a Terran, after all. But let's be honest. You will tell me what I want to know. <laughs> Apparently, Tilly's new allies are still with us. <sighs> if you want something done right. Weapons at highest setting. Open fire! You're the one the captain sent Cognitive. me to meet. I'm Patel, Chief of Security. Thanks for the assist. I make it a habit to be on the outside of an agonizer booth. But I've spent my fair share of time in one, too. I'll manage. What's the situation? Is the captain still in command? <laughs> I'm not surprised. It'll take more than Klingons and mutinous riffraff to end Sylvia Tilly. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't killed them all herself. In the meantime, I have orders to get you to the bridge, and I intend to obey them. Follow me. Not a problem. There's no code written I can't crack. I'll have those fields down in short order. Cover me while I work. We might have some uninvited guests soon. No quarter, no prisoners. Attack! Ambush! on that deck. I take it you found Chief Patel? Some good news for a change, though I'm not terribly surprised. A woman's harder to kill than a honey badger. Ready for the bad news? I'm afraid the Klingons have taken several lower decks and are moving in your direction. Keep your weapons hot. They're killing everyone they run into, and I don't think they'll make an exception for you. Stick with Patel and get up here as soon as you're able. Your Klingon disruptors up ahead. Be ready for anything. Do not let that suit scum through this junction.
Hold your position. There's been... an incident. The Klingon kind. Specifically, they've taken control of main engineering. Killed my chief engineer and his security team in the process. They're threatening to breach the core if I don't surrender. That is not gonna happen. Evacuate sounds a lot like retreat to me, and that is not gonna happen either. This is my ship, and I will not abandon her. Take Patel, get down to engineering, deal with the Klingons, and make sure that core breach never happens. I recommend you deal with this problem quickly. Neither of us will enjoy their solution. Tilly out. Ugh, the Klingons probably cracked Rathman's code. Idiot. first. Seems there's more Klingons down there than we thought. You'll have to fight your way to main engineering. Good news? They'll be shooting at the mutineers down there. It might make your job a little easier, huh? Targeting vital systems. They're just trashing the place. Main engineering is just on the net. Let's hustle, people! Rathman's dead, and we will be too if you don't get that terrible joke. Yeah. On your lead, we'll breach. You go high, I'll go low. We all die! like the Klingons were in a hurry. That is some sloppy work. I was solving engineering problems like that when I was a first-year cadet. Rebalance the matter-antimatter inducers and adjust the flow rate to 0.5. That should bring the core back from the brink quite nicely. Hope you know what you're doing. That warp core looks fit to breach! done. Cut it a little close there with the core, but since we're all still here, I'm gonna call that a win. So, since we've got a little room to breathe here, why don't you come up to the bridge? There's a turbo lift nearby that I've relaxed the security locks on. Face to face at last. Captain, are you sure we can trust these assholes? Language! Ugh, oh, 
cursing. It's such a filthy habit. You did well against the mutineers. They weren't fond of my decision to seek asylum, I'm afraid. While unpleasant, it is better than the fate we left behind. In our universe, Pavo is a cruel, deadly entity. Being sent to that system is a death sentence. And sent there we were. I suppose an enemy decided it was time for me to retire. Permanently. But enough about that. Let's get down to business, shall we? First and foremost, I have no interest in hostilities with your government. I meant what I said about asylum. I do. The mutiny was unfortunate, but what can I say? We're Terrans. Dominance is often challenged and must be maintained. The mutineers saw an opportunity, took their shot, and missed. Big time. Everyone left saw the price they paid for their failure. Believe me. The rest of the crew will fall in line. I'm fortunate you were here to deal with the problem. Apparently, my chief of security felt like spending time in an agonizer booth during most of the conflict. Honestly, Patel, if I knew you liked the booth so much, I'd keep you in one more often. Why, you are right to say so, Captain. It won't happen again. See to it that it doesn't. I'd hate to replace you, Chief, but I will if I have to. Next steps are to get my vessel back in working order before those Klingons come back to finish us off. Now that's not going to be easy. I'm down a Chief Engineer, the power grid is a shambles, we have multiple hull breaches, and we're nowhere near battle ready. Our shields are down. If the Klingons don't get us, it's only a matter of time before the Ion Storm does. Monitor that console while I try to get the main deflector back online. I'd order my chief science officer to do it, but she chose her loyalties poorly. Start a diagnostic on the shield emitters. I'll start to recalibrate the main deflector. Sensors are picking up numerous Klingon vessels decloaking. Combat is imminent. I strongly recommend you return to the ship at your earliest convenience. Captain should be on their own ship in the heat of battle. Go. We'll take it from here. Thank you. If we survive this, I look forward to repaying the favor. Now go, before it's too late. Discovery and 
you will lose. Fight with us, and you will live to see another day. Then you are a fool, fighting in a burning house. Try to die well. Based on what the sensors recorded during the attack, it appears we were hit by psionic energy, manifested into an energy pulse of considerable magnitude. The attack originated on Pavo. I don't like red in my ledger. You saved my ship, so I spared yours. This time. Next time I won't be so... sentimental. First and last warning. Leave the system while you're able. Did you hit your head in that fight? I think what I have to gain here is pretty obvious. Everything. Pavo's reach is infinite. After a few more demonstrations of its power, everyone in the Quadrant will have no choice but to swear allegiance to me. Or, you know, die. Empress Millie. And that has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Sane, insane. I'm the one calling the shots here. And I'm pretty sure I told you to get lost or get wrecked. So who's the insane one again? Me? Or the lunatic staring defiantly down the barrel of the ultimate weapon? Tick tock, pal. My trigger finger's getting itchy. I am reading an energy signature on the surface of the pile. It matches the initial blast from the planet. Another attack could be imminent. We will not survive a direct hit. I strongly recommend we exit the system immediately. Captain Tilly's betrayal, while unfortunate, was not entirely unexpected. Her use of this agonizer technology to weaponize the ecosystem of Pavo is a matter of utmost concern. I believe I can devise a means to neutralize her technology, but I will need time to conduct research. Rest assured that I will endeavor to counter Tilly's insidious actions as soon as possible. 
I ask that you prepare to take action at a moment's notice. The lives of untold millions, including our own, could be at stake. <laughs>